Should you take a broad brush or a narrow beam approach to niche research? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video. Let me explain what I mean by a broad brush approach. A broad brush approach is where you take a topic that has wide appeal, you use popular keywords that are likely to get lots of searches, and everyone who has any interest in the subject whatsoever could use this search term. And this results in high search volume, but it also results in high competition. Now, when I talk about narrow beam, I mean a topic that has a highly specialized appeal and it uses highly defined keywords. So only those people who have a specific interest in the subject will use those search terms. There's lower search volume, but there's less competition, so you stand a greater chance of making a sale. And you might call a narrow beam approach going after a sub niche of a wider niche. To convert a broad brush topic down to a narrow beam one, you want to niche it down three times. So for example, let's say weight training. You could niche that down to weight training for women and then beginner weight training for women because obviously that's a much more specialized subject uh, so therefore only women who are beginning weight training are going to be interested in this particular niche and that can be to your advantage if we look at this table here you can see we've got the keywords and we've got here the number of monthly searches in Google, the number of daily searches done in Google, the competition, that's the number of sites that are indexed in Google for that particular keyword, and the daily search ratio. And what that is, is the competition divided by the number of daily searches. So if everything was equally weighted, those are the probabilities that someone doing a search for that keyword will reach your site. Now let's just take a look at these. For weight training, you can see that there are 9,720 monthly searches, 324 daily searches, but the competition is 12,900,000 websites for that keyword. So your chances of getting to the first page of Google, let alone to the top position in Google, are going to be very, very slim. So the chances of somebody actually coming to your website, the daily search ratio is 39,814 to 1. So when you niche it down, you've got weight training for women and that gives 6,480 monthly searches, 216 daily searches, and the competition is 327,000. But when you niche it down again, you've got beginner weight training for women. The monthly searches are much lower, only 384, and there's only 13 searches a day but the competition is 7,700 and the daily search ratio is 592 to one. So your chances of getting to the first page of Google and your chances of getting to the top position of Google are much better because you're not going up against so many competitors. So your chances of actually getting a hit to your website are one in 592 as opposed to one in 39,814. So you stand a much better chance of being able to access this much smaller market. You can be a big fish in a small pond as opposed to a minnow in the ocean. 
So if you're just starting out, if you're looking for a niche to dominate, the smaller the niche, the better. So niche it down, take a narrow beam approach, and you'll stand a much better chance of success.